minimally invasive heart surgery is picking up in the world what it means is we do heart surgeries through smaller incisions than before normally as we all know when we do open heart surgery we cut the breast bone with about 8 to 9 inches incision then spread the bone and then go on do the surgery it takes about 3 months for the incision to heal and there are a few complications like infection of the mediastinum and then bone infection and during these 3 months people cannot drive have to take rest cannot do heavy work etc and when we do a second operation some of these patients do require second third operations then there will be a lot of difficulties in approaching the heart that is a standard surgery in minimally invasive heart surgery we do not cut the breast bone or we cut only a part of it the rest of the bone is intact keeping this stable or sometimes we would give an incision on the side of the chest for the right side if you have to do valve operations or closure of holes in the heart and on the left side if you have to do bypass surgery below the nipple we give about 3 to 4 inches incision in between the ribs you go inside and do the surgery so in minimal invasive surgery the incision size is smaller most of the times you do not cut the breast bone and in some situations we can do the surgery without using heart lung machine so when these criteria are met one of more we call it as a minimal invasive surgery the advantage for the patient is they recover faster in a shorter time they can go back to the work in about 4 to 6 weeks time pain is less transfusions are less now what are the surgeries that can be done these days through minimal invasive heart surgery most of the surgeries can be done for example valve replacements mitral valve replacement aortic valve replacement and closure of holes in the heart and again bypass surgeries can be done this way if there are tumors in the heart we can do those surgery so many of the surgeries that we are doing regular through the sternotomy can be done however we need to be selective in doing this Uh, surgeries and patients now we cannot do this on every patient we make sure that there are no major problems there are not too many surgeries are involved in this patient so we have a certain selection criteria for a success of the procedure so next time we go for a heart surgery to either to you or to your family members or friends please ask the surgeon if this procedure can be done through a minimal access approach